What's up guys, my name is Brandon and two weeks after releasing iOS 11.3 beta 2, Apple returns today with the release of iOS 11.3 beta 3 to registered developers. Now this also comes just one day after releasing iOS 11.2.6 to the public, which was a fix for the Indian character bug that most of you guys should know about by now. But anyways, let's go ahead and take a look and see what's new here in 11.3 beta 3. So first of all, you can see that the size here came in at 363.3 megabytes on my iPhone 8 Plus, which of course did come from beta 2. And if we go into our settings, go to general, about take a look at the build number here you can see it's 15 e 5189f so of course a long build number as expected and now let's talk about some of the changes here in beta 3 and there are a couple of them so first of all the ipod touch 6 generation is now supported once again in beta 3 after being unsupported in beta 2 for some reason that we still don't know but it was available in beta 1 it was supported in beta 1 got taken out in beta 2 and now it's back in beta 3 so if you do have an ipod touch 6g and you are on the beta program you're going to be happy to see that it is supported now in the third beta now if we go to our messages app application and go to delete a message you can see that the placeholder text with the underscores is now gone and now we get an actual prompt that's user friendly and I say user friendly as in just the text it shows actually what's going to happen when you delete it instead of just being some placeholder text with underscores that doesn't really make a lot of sense to most people now one of the big bugs I've noticed on my iPhone 10 and also my iPhone 8 plus is that sometimes the music application would stop playing once you open an application a third-party application a stock application sometimes it would just randomly stop playing your music or podcasts now that has been fixed here in beta 3 which is is really nice because I still struggle with that on iOS 11.1.2 on my iPhone 10, which is my daily driver. Unfortunately, I have to be on that version to jailbreak, so I'm still struggling with that, uh, you know, that bug right there. But that has been fixed here in beta 3, so your music won't stop playing after opening apps randomly now. Now, if we go into our settings, go to privacy. Scroll down to analytics, you'll notice we have a new panel right here for improve health records. So I talked about the new health records feature in the first beta, uh, but then we now have analytics options for that. So you can enable that if you want to, you know, help Apple improve the uh, feature right here, the health records feature. But I don't like to improve any of these just because it does drain battery. So that is a new feature here in beta three though. Now a feature that's gone that a lot of people are gonna be upset about, including myself, is that AirPlay 2 has now been removed in beta three. So this basically just indicates that the multi-room support won't be available Available for the home pod when iOS 11.3 gets released to the public now of course this makes me really sad because you guys saw I did a review on the home pod I have a home pod and if this feature was going to be out if the multi-room support was going to be added to the home pod I was going to get another one the white one but it's not so now you know I'm gonna to have to wait even longer to get my second home pod you know I would like to have the stereo pairing and you know be able to use it in multi multiple rooms but unfortunately it doesn't look like that's gonna happen at least not in 11.3 so those are pretty much the only changes I found on beta 3 so far but I'm sure there are a few other other ones out there now as far as performance goes performance seems about the same as beta 2 which was better than beta 1 but not really too much different it's pretty smooth you know I haven't really noticed too many bugs a couple app crashes every here and there but not too bad and it's pretty much the same story with battery life battery life is great and it's likely the same as beta 2 but of course I haven't been using it long enough to be able to tell you for sure but anyways guys that's pretty much it for iOS 11.3 beta 3 I hope you enjoyed the video make sure to stay tuned for a lot more videos coming soon I'm sorry for the quietness on my channel lately I'm definitely gonna be coming back with a lot more videos very very soon but if you enjoyed this one make sure to hit that thumbs up button also let me know down in the comment down below if you're on the beta program what you think of this third beta of 11.3 i do also have a jailbreak update video coming out very soon so definitely stay tuned for that but anyways guys thanks again for watching and i'll see you soon